Hey, it's I'm a super sensitive human, and today I am at the, I don't know how to say it, Amitabha Stupa Peace Park in uh, Sedona, Arizona. Just call it the Stupa. And I uh, don't know where the Stupa is yet. It's somewhere around here. So we'll go check it out, see what it's all about. I've heard that it's a good place to meditate heard the people at the raw food restaurant saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna, gonna go meditate at the stupa, you wanna come? <laughs> so we'll see what, what it's like here. All right, I think we found the way to get to the stupa at the parking lot. There's a trail. Well, I couldn't talk very much to show you what was up because there wasn't any people talking up there. Very quiet, so I didn't want to disturb the peace, but I learned a lot about stupas. Um, there's like a billion prayers inside, like actually written on paper, little scrolls, all scrolled up and put inside there, and all kinds of weird things inside, items from enlightened masters and 
vases that represent wealth and like rice that represents food and uh, homeopathic medicines that represent health and uh, there's all this lore about the stupa and if you even look at the stupa or dream of the stupa or think of the stupa or walk in the stupa's shadow that it will enlighten you so uh, I didn't realize what a major thing the stupa was Apparently there's not that many in the United States. I've always been familiar with them because I had this uh, boyfriend once who uh, was like a sort of servant to a monk in the Shambhala Buddhist tra tradition. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the visit to the stupa and I uh, give it a 10 out of 10. I recommend checking it out if you're in Sedona.